Hey friends, if you're feeling stressed, anxious, or just in a creative rut and don't know what to draw, this video is for you. Here are 15 easy patterns to draw to help you boost your mood. Before we begin, I'm going to go over some of the art supplies that I'll be using in this video, as well as supplies that I love to use when I draw. Um, in this video, I'll be using 110 GSM paper. This is a quill notebook. I love using this paper because I find that the ink doesn't really leak through. It has a beautiful texture and it's thick enough to use markers and inky pens. In today's video, I'll be using my favorite doodling pen, which is the Outline 210 pen. I love using this pen because the nib size allows me to make thick and thin lines and it glides so smoothly on the page. I also love using the Micron Fine Liners. These pens are perfect for fine details and line work. I also use pencils and a ruler to draw up the grid beforehand. So those are all the tools I used for this drawing. Okay, let's get started. For the first pattern, draw a diagonal grid over the page. Along each line, you're going to add a curved little line and then that's gonna make this nice little bubble shape along each edge. And then in between, in the space in between, draw a little square and color it in. I love the way this pattern looks when it's complete. It reminds me of like an intricate tile design. For the next pattern, draw curved lines from one corner of the page to the opposite corner. Along each line, add small bumps like semicircles all along the edge. Then from each bump, add a line to fill in the space between the two curved edges. This pattern is super simple and an easy one to do to help you zone out. Try drawing semicircles moving up the page in a sort of scale pattern. In each semicircle, draw another semicircle and color it in. I love this pattern. It kind of looks like fish scales, but you can call it whatever you like. Next up, I love drawing this net pattern. Start with a triangle anywhere on the page and then continue to add more triangles around it, making sure they're all connected. You wanna continue this pattern until the whole space is full. This is such an easy pattern for you to do when you wanna zone out or you just need to distract your mind a little bit. Next is this super easy pattern that I love to draw when I'm bored in meetings. All you need to do is draw a little swirl and add little petals all around it. They look like little swirly flowers. For the next pattern, you're going to draw lines going vertically down the page. In one column, draw curved lines facing up, and in the next column, draw curved lines facing down. Once this is complete, you have this really cool wave-like pattern moving across the page. Next, we have a really easy doodle pattern. Even if you feel like you have no drawing skills whatsoever, this one is for you. Draw swirls in all different sizes all over the page. Try and fit in as many as you can and fill in all the little spaces. Once you're done drawing all the swirls, color in all the gaps in between. I love coloring the gaps because it really makes the swirls pop off the page. Okay, I think we're up to pattern number eight. This one is super easy as well. It's all about leaves. Start by drawing an eye shape using two curved lines and then fill in the leaf with little veins. Draw them in all different sizes all over the page. You can also try drawing them in different colors if you like. Next up, try drawing a wavy line from one end of the page to the other, sort of like ocean waves. Along each line, add small circles all the way across. This makes them look like a string of beads. It also reminds me a little bit of seaweed. I'm not sure why, but this pattern is so fun and so easy to do. Pattern number 10 is such a fun one as well. Start with these concentric semicircles and then continue to build the pattern by branching off more semicircles on top of the other. You can build this pattern in whatever direction and way you like, start wherever you like and continue until the entire space is full. I love this pattern because you really cannot get it wrong. You can do it anyway and it still looks beautiful. The next pattern involves lots of blobs, my favorite thing to draw. Just add a whole bunch of blobs all over the page and then fill each blob with more concentric lines. Once you've filled the blobs, color in all the space around them. You can definitely do this with colored markers, but I'm just using a black marker for this one. 
Next up is another really fun and easy one. Around the edges of the page, draw semicircles. Within each semicircle, add a smaller semicircle and color it in. Once you've completed that, add another curved line around the top of each semicircle. Continue all the way around by adding layers and layers until you reach the middle of the page. I love this pattern because it looks like an optical illusion once it's complete. The next pattern is so beautiful on a large and small paper. Start with a diagonal line across the page, then along this line, draw flower petals that reach the edge of the page. The petals will gradually get larger as you move up the line. Once you've done this on both ends of the line, you end up with this beautiful leaf design. You can also add some extra line work and detailing to really make this leaf pop. Okay, for pattern number 14, you want to start with a diagonal grid. In each section, you're going to draw a shell-like pattern. Start with this little petal shape in the center and then draw more curved lines along each side. Once you've finished and filled in every space, color in the small gaps in between each shell. I always love coloring gaps in, I've said this before. It just makes the drawing pop off the page and it really adds a nice little touch. And lucky last, one of my favorite patterns, start by drawing a simple flower and then add lines around each petal. You might add two or three layers of lines, go with what you feel, and then continue to fill the space with more flowers exactly like that. Let them overlap and layer them, fill in the spaces with lines until you've covered the entire page. The end result is this beautiful flower print all over the page. Okay, there you have it. 15 super easy, fun patterns that you can draw to help you de-stress, calm your mind, or when you're bored or stuck in a creative rut. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.